Extreme physical abuse and torture. That is what prosecutors allege a child went through before dying. Ms. Edis Lasoya died in February of 2022. Right now, her mother's boyfriend, Jose Ruiz, is in court facing eight counts of injury to a child. And later today, the child's own mother is expected to take the stand. So far, it has been a quiet morning at the Justice Center. Our Erica Hernandez has been following this trial since the day it began. So, Erica, what was the jury allowed to see this morning? Yeah, David, we actually saw more video from another apartment that Mercedes was staying in with her mom and her sister. The same as Ruiz's apartment yesterday, police collected several items of evidence. Some of those items included hair, heating pads, heating pads, used puppy pads, and bruise creams. The jury has been out most of the morning as they discussed entering evidence from Ruiz's cell phone. He allegedly filmed some of the abuse and took photos of injuries. The judge has ruled to allow this evidence into trial, and so the jury will be seeing it at some point. I do want to mention late yesterday afternoon, three neighbors of Ruiz took the stand to talk about 911 calls they had made almost three months before Mercedes died. They say they could hear a child crying and screaming through the walls. Here is some of that testimony. The intensity. Um, like the wailing and how severely the, the, uh, the child was crying and that duration was very prolonged. And while she was crying, did you ever hear her say any words with it? Not words, just ow, ow, ow. Now, all three neighbors said they called SAPD multiple times and they only came out once and talked to Luisa Mendoza but never went inside the apartment. As far as Mendoza, she has taken a plea deal in exchange for her testimony. Now, she is expected to be the next witness called up. That could be during the lunch hour right now or later this afternoon at lunch. Now, we are live streaming this trial. You can watch on KSAT.com, KSAT Plus, and KSAT's YouTube channel. Live at the Kennedy's Justice Center, Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.